November 6, 1987, the talking S-meter project for the WB6VIG repeater. This is the main CPU board with the 6502, the ROM, the RAM, the interface to the talking part, the A to D converter, the speaker, the interface to the touchdown decoder, and the clock. This is the touch tone interface with the SSI202 chip right here. And that is the keyboard connector to that. Now the little yellow LED just lit up, which means it thought it heard a touch tone. It actually heard Paul's voice talking on the radio across the room. This board has a digitalker on it. That's the Digitucker chip. There's the two ROMs for the standard set, and there's the secondary set, which I'm not using. Got a little amplifier circuit here to uh, put the audio at uh, mic level. Here's the radio I'm using. It's the TR7800 Kenwood. I've got the mic connector hooked up to the audio in the speech board, going to that amplifier circuit right there. Which the talk circuit is a gray wire, which runs over here and connects right in here. The little transistor in the center of the screen is the keying transistor. There's also a green or a yellow LED that lights up when the thing is pushed to talk. I hooked up my selective call box so the thing can be remotely shut off. And that's hooked up to the scanner across the room. The interface to the radio, as far as the A to D reading, is done on the inside. Right there, test point three on the receiver circuit, which is a uh, S meter level. That goes directly to the S meter in the radio, so it's very simple. So that's basically it. Uses a 6502 and a 2K ROM and RAM and the DigiTalker standard set and the radio. Of course, the SSI202 touchdown decoder works beautifully. I can get S readings, pad tests, and all that sort of stuff. I'm currently working on wire wrapping. Doing wire wrapping for the first time. January 26, 1988. The talking S meter is complete.
wrong. And I mean, these weren't just little noises. These were big, rackety noises. And uh, the people, a few people standing around the grave were startled by these noises also. And, and when we set the coffin down, we, we, we set it down a little bit hard, harder than usual because we wanted to get it off out of our hands. And the damn noises were real loud at, at that point. Man, you should have seen the eyes of the people around, you know. And thank God we had a gunny sergeant there who was kind of teaching us what to do. And he, he called us all over, you know, when we got, were getting our rifles and putting the blanks. And he was handing us the blanks, made sure there was no live ammunition. He, he said, come here, guys. And we, we huddled around him. He said, don't worry about that. It's, it's no big deal. A lot of times these uh, bodies will do that. Said, do what? He said, they're just farting. <laughs> 